I've served in the Marine Corps from 1961 to 1995. 1995. Mm -hmm. um, and your last command before you retired was? I was a commander of Marine Forces Reserve in New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay. All right. Um, if you could briefly talk about some of your memories of General Gray. So, I mean, like, what was your first uh, first interaction with General Gray? Well, I was uh, I were initially assigned at Camp Pendleton, and uh, we had a guy uh, who was the XO of uh, 7th Marines, knew me, and uh, he uh, suggested maybe I would consider being the S3 of the 4th Marines. And the uh, CEO of the 4th Marines at uh, that particular time in 1974 was uh, Colonel Al Gray, and I didn't know him. But I'll tell you what, I was quickly introduced to him and his operational background through uh, this individual and got to know him. And I only stayed with him for a very short period uh, at Camp Hanson, and they decided to send me aboard the uh, Blue Ridge uh, with a 9th Mount Nucleus staff. And the intent of uh, me going aboard was they are uh, considering what we were going to do with regard to the evacuation of Saigon, the evacuation of Phnom Penh, all the things that were happening in Vietnam is it was sort of collapsing at this particular point. So I uh, met him for a short period and I was assigned and I was gone probably about three months before we interacted again. And that would be involved with the operation, frequently when the evacuation of Saigon. Um, and and did, did you have any personal interactions with him that you can recount? Some stories. I think, I think the thing, the, the big personal interactions uh, I want to emphasize is we actually when we got involved with the evacuation of Saigon, uh, I was caught in country and I was given the execute message to execute frequent win. I got General Gray on the uh, phone from the location we were in Saigon, and he was aboard the ship. And I suggested certain options to it. And we had been planning numerous options with respect to the evacuation of Saigon from just a few people up to a million people. And I suggested an option to him. And I think the first thing that I witnessed personally that I re really recount is uh, he and General Kerry came in on two helicopters, two Huey helicopters. And the thing that I admire about General Gray, when he got off that helicopter, his biggest concern was taking care of the troops. As the regimental commander, he pulled off his flak vest and gave it to a Marine who did not have a flak vest. He pulled off his helmet. So he really went to the Marines. Yeah, he figured everything else would be adequately taken care of. And Gray style, or Papa Bear style as I call it, Papa Bear went right for the Marines, the Secretary and Fourth of Marines, the Magnificent Bastards and making sure they were taken care of with respect to what was going on in that operation. And I always admired his concern always about every Marine. He always focused on every Marine. And I really, I tell you, that really accents Al Gray. Why do you think he is head and shoulders above so many other general officers? What is it about him that puts him in a level above so many others? I think the thing I just described, his concern is about the individual Marine. Uh, I've had remarkable commanders, but no one ever accented that concern about individual Marines more than General Al Gray. Always the focus was on taking care of that individual Marine. And I've learned to admire that trait about this individual Marine officer all my life. And we, as Marine officers, as anyone wearing the uniform of Marine, need to emulate that great quality of this great leader of Marines. Do you have anything else you want to add about General Gray? I think the thing that was further accented when we got ready to leave Saigon, it was almost comical. I was going to be the last guy on the helicopter coming out of Saigon at that particular location we were at. And he said, no, Livingston, I'm going to be the last guy to get aboard that helicopter. And typical Gray style, taking care of the Marines, he's the last guy out. And you didn't argue with the boss. <laughs>